What is up guys, it is Harry back at it again with another Oz Dance video. Today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I've been playing this for a long time and I'm actually going to be doing a review on the e-trike. I've got the chest mount on already, I didn't want to have it off and then have to put it back on and things like that. So one of the things we have to do for the e-trike is to actually just put the PVC Slick back on because as you can see the e trike has only got uh, one at the moment. So first thing I'm going to do is first zoom out the lens and I think we're going to actually just uh, start just putting the thing -o back on. Alright so hopefully this is just a straightforward process. I honestly don't know how much we're going to be able to do so it should just be a simple case of just sliding it on. No. It's a nice thing for sliding it on. Try the other way. It's a bit awkward. That's a bit better. There we go. Now, you guys might have noticed that we don't actually have a way of leaving the PVC like back putting it like stayed onto the wheel um, we've never it's that's always been like that never really had a way of actually putting the PVC permanently on the wheels because this was only a temporary solution um, because what we're actually going to be doing is if you look at Reinhardt's uh, Reinhardt's here you would see that it's just a normal uh, just trolley wheel I guess and we're putting the PVC over that. So what we actually are going to do is, I think with the these will get deflated. Chuck would cut a thing for to size for here. Deflate, have these deflated. Chuck the PVC on, reinflate them, and they should stay. Obviously, that's like the a really sketchy sort of solution, but for what we're doing, it's semi decent. It's not like going to be going stupid speeds like my one is. So yeah, we're just going to leave it. I've got the batteries inside. I'm going to go grab them and. Yeah. Just before I go inside, look how many, like, look at the cobwebs on this thing, like. Damn, this thing is, like, insane with, like, cobwebs and stuff. Um, this actually has, like, been used once since the Season 2 finale, so that would, ex that explains why it's so, like, dusty and stuff. Um, not really a big deal, I'm only on it for, like, 10 minutes, probably not even that. Just because the batteries are very limited in, like, longevity, I suppose, because... Again, as I mentioned, yeah, this hasn't been used in ages, so, you know, it's not like we have to have them charged all the time. So, yeah, I'm just going to go grab the batteries and we'll be right back. I've never really been shown, like, how to actually put the batteries on, so it's going to be interesting to actually get it get it done, you know. Like, of course, I don't own the e-trike, so I don't have a lot of experience with it. And just if you look at these batteries, it's not like they're easy to begin with, it's just lipos and stuff, you know, they're dangerous and things, they're both in there, jeez, trusting. So I'm basically just going to try and sort this out for myself, because obviously I have no idea how to use this. It shouldn't be too difficult, I'm going to sort this out, and then I am going to get back to you guys with hopefully a full battery. Alright, so we're, we're all, we are running into some issues in that... I do actually have the uh, batteries hooked up, as you can see, They're hooked up and everything, but it's not actually doing anything when I twist this twisty thing. So I'm gonna have to ask Brendan what's all up, what's up with that. When all goes wrong, ask the guy who actually made the damn thing. All right, I've changed up to the the not GoPro, and. Let me just say, one of the drawbacks about this thing is that it is really heavy. Like, it's obviously a lot, lot heavier, than, a lot lighter than what mine is, don't get me wrong, but obviously it is 
still quite beefy, so gives this thing a bit of a run. Don't know how well this POV angle is going to go, but should be alright. Drive wide test, see if it clears or oh, that. Oh, don't tell me it's already died. It's literally died in the middle of the road. That is really bad. to not ride on this bit and I sort of did. A really cool like bonus feature is that this is actually like a changing gear sort of thing so I can press it and I go forwards, press it and I go backwards. Funny because whenever Brendan rides this thing it like never works so. Alright let's try this again. Alright, so major drawback of this is obviously the fact that this keeps coming off, but it's a, not too bad judging I can literally just chuck it on like that and it's fine. This one on the left I'm not, re I'm a bit worried about just because it's uh, obviously a bit sketchy, but I guess the whole thing is sketchy as well, so it's not a big deal really. editing this video. crazy angle and try and get really close to one of those curbs. See if I can do it. Really, really sore from the um, 
the amount of like vibrations there were from the road, because obviously PVC just pretty much like does not absorb any of that. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer, but it's alright. Had a good session in on this thing. So uh, just gonna chuck it inside and then uh, yeah, we're just gonna I'll just give you my opinion on this thing. Because obviously there are a few good and bad things. Um, obviously, even though uh, Brendan is my mate, and uh, you know, I helped sort of, sort of didn't really help him with this thing. I'm gonna focus, like, just go completely unbiased, uh, just so you guys get a, an honest opinion of what this thing is actually like to not only ride but to main, not well maintain as well, I suppose. Obviously, you guys have just seen me drive ride around on the e trike and. As I mentioned before, I'm going to give you a completely unbiased opinion, even though Brendan is my mate. Aren't you, Brendan? Yeah! Yep, yep, even he said so. And so, I'm just going to give you my feedback on it. That's really distracting, so I'm actually going to do that. Boom, unlucky, I think that's actually just a great shot. So, obviously, I'm going to start with the good points about it. Um, obviously, it's really good to drift with when the batteries are actually um, full, full, fully replen uh, replenished with energy and stuff like that and you know it's good fun things like that it's relatively compact compared to some others that I've seen <coughs> mine you know it's just all around good fun um, although there are obviously some bad points as there usually are with things that are really built sketchily um, so I'll just go through them obviously the uh, that right hand slick came off about a few times. I'll have like the number on screen. I don't know. I can't remember how many times it actually um, went off. And Brendan's just sitting with me right now. Try to the microphone the end of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're just going to film my audio, are you? I could audio you. Oh, okay. Even though I'm not, because I'm actually doing my Okay. Well, whatever. Paint is, uh, has a little to be desired. Um, obviously. Don't judge it. Obviously, it doesn't have clear coat on it, so it doesn't. Oh yeah, the paint doesn't have clear coat on it, which uh, might explain why it doesn't look as good as it normally would. Um, obviously, that's just down to the amount of time and patience that Brendan had when he was building. He just wanted to get it done straight away for you guys. So obviously, that was um, not really a big deal. At least it's at least it's red, I guess. Um, it's quite heavy as well, which. Um, Obviously, it's down to a couple of factors. Obviously, the motor and the the tube steel that we actually the box steel stuff that we used, um, which is quite heavy. Obviously, quite thick. So, of course, that's going to account for a lot of the weight. Um, but other than that, it's actually overall quite nice. I mean, if you can get over the fact that yes, the right hand sleek might come off a few times, which usually doesn't happen. It's just because it's worn down heaps. Um, it's actually really good fun, and it's definitely. If you guys have got the money, obviously you guys should invest in doing so, or you could just buy Brendan's. I mean, I think he's going to be selling his in a few months, so if you guys are interested, um, either shoot him a DM or something, I don't know. Probably best place to ask about the e-trike is on our website, so that's in, if you go click on the channel thingamabob, which is that corner I think. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching this video guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out our Facebook which is facebook.com forward slash ozstance um, as well as Instagram which is instagram.com forward slash ozstance. Uh, what else? A website, aforementioned website that's in, in the channel banner thingamabob. Make sure to check out our Instagrams. Make sure to check out my Brendan's Reese's um, um, yeah, just have to wait for them. And I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. So I will catch you guys probably not in the next one, but one of the other next ones. So yeah.